Hey everyone, Sam Cinarelli, H1 Fencing. Welcome back to ICANN's Armory. Today we're going to talk about the uh, tabs on a foil and saber lame and a foil mask bib to connect the, the mask cord. Um, the mask cord tab has been there in saber for years. Um, it's required by the rules. Now foil has done that as well, so foil is required. It has a specific size minimum, uh, two by three centimeters. I've seen bigger. Uh, doesn't give a maximum. Uh, its purpose is obviously to conduct electricity from either the mask bib or the mask itself to the back of the lame and out the body cord. Connection does sometimes fail. Uh, either the lame gets chewed up, gets oxidation like any other lame, or if you wobble it back and forth a lot, you end up getting a fatigue break right where the join line is. Uh, sometimes that's deliberate. Dan DeShane once told a story about a team who had done that, and when they brought the stuff to control, the armorer initially put the lame on the table, put the test weight on top of the tab, push it against the back of the lame. Well, that connection there, that physical contact makes connection, so it showed good. When you lifted the tab up and test the tab by itself, dead. Which is why if you watch me do control and have a lame, I always lift the tab up and test the tab by itself. Um, if that is broken connection, it must be fixed because you must use a tab. You can do that by either um, live spot, I to bridge that gap, I've done that many times, or you can make a patch out of lame material and uh, sew that down. Uh, you may have to do it by hand if you don't have a sewing machine, you don't have enough time, but I've done that too. Um, as far as the mask is concerned, the mask tab is not required by the rules. It is actually a, a, a manufacturer add-on, so there's no rules on the size of the tab. Uh, if it is present, it must be in working condition, and uh, but you don't actually have to use it. Um, if it fails, your options are to fix it the same way you would with the lame tab or cut it off because you can clip to the mask bib in foil. In Sabre, anywhere in the mask counts, or most people go to the frame or up here on the, on the bib. I don't recommend the bib in Sabre because it chews the lame up and creates a dead spot and creates a hole. Uh, but you can make a lame patch and sew that down onto your foil or Sabre lame if it goes bad. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so here I have a bit of lame fabric. Uh, I'm going to make it into a tab. This one actually is obviously very big. Uh, it is uh, about 5 centimeters across, about 11 centimeters long. I'm going to fold it over and then uh, sew it down, fold it in half again so I have good uh, conductive surface to go against the back of the lame. And I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, so I'm going to first fold one edge of this in halfway so the edge is right down the middle of the uh, of the long side. I'm going to sew that down. Do what's called a runoff stitch. Just run off the edge to hold it in place. It's not going to affect it anything. It'll be sewn up more securely later, a little, little later on. So there's that. Turn that away. And do the so you can see how it's sewn down in half. There's the other side of it. Set it right there. We go. I'll just do this by hand as well. And as you can see, now we have a nice flap there. Good conductive surface on the other side. I'm going to measure this real quick. And right now this is about actually uh, two and a half centimeters wide, which is um, lar larger than the minimum required of two, which is fine. Now I'm going to fold it in half like that, sew it down, and we'll have one that's going to be about five centimeters long. Actually, first I'm going to fold these ends in so it looks a little neater. Just a real quick shot there. Don't a lot of threads hanging off it. Again, just a runoff stitch to hold it in place. I'm not really worried about this one, making this one nice and neat. It's not the part I'm worried about. Okay. Trim that a bit. Okay, trim all the excess threads off of this from the sewing. But now I have a tab. And I actually could use this tab the way it is. Uh, as the rules say, the minimum is two by three. There is no maximum, although the range again one's kind of dumb. 
uh, and I've seen tabs this long on actual Amaze as it comes from the manufacturer. You know, it just it's all right. I think too long is going to might cause problems. You know, the, the cord hanging too that far down, that kind of stuff. But if I want to use this, you can see this is how I go down. It's nice conductive. I'm going to fold it in half one more time and sew it down. That way, I have nice, good conductive surface all the way around it. Okay. So there we have. The tab is made right there, and it measures two and a half across, four and a half down. So it's it's bigger than it needs to be per the rules. This is more sufficient, and we'll sew this on in a second. Okay, so I have here the lame that I washed earlier and used for the uh, patching video. And I'm going to add the tab to it. This one does not have a tab. Before you put the tab on, though. You need to make sure that where you're going to put it is conductive, because sometimes it goes dead here as well. Um, it is supposed to be placed down the center line or just to the the left on a right hand lame, the right and left hand lame. Um, I'm going to presume for a moment that this one is actually good. That this lame is mostly dead, but presumption is good. I want to put it right down below the base of the collar, so it's right at the bottom of the neck. There's the center. Put it down. And what I want to do here. Do a nice line across the back. I might do a couple places on it. So there it is, lined up. Foot's down. Here we go. Now, what I do, I kind of zigzagged it back and forth and. Um, uh, made a bit wider of a contact on it. Cut this off. And all the threads are cut. There we go. And now we have the flap is on, and the free portion is in fact three centimeters. And that's how you attach the tab. To a LeMay for four or saber. Next up, masks. Okay, so let's talk uh, mask for a few to go over what we said earlier in the video. Uh, the mask tab on a foil mask is not required by the rules. It's a manufacturer add-on. It's a courtesy. Uh, if it is present, it must be in working condition. Uh, you don't have to use it though. If it has gone dead and you want to avoid an issue, you can either repair the tab by way of bridging across it with conductive thread, live spot, making a patch like I did on the, uh, on the, on the lame, uh, or cut it off and clip directly to the bib. Um, a note, if you're going to do a replacement of the uh, tab, make sure that's a good contact with the conductive part of the bib. It, it doesn't always wrap around underneath to, uh, to, to sew on the other side. You have to make sure it's going to get that spot where the, where the main bib is. You probably can't do it also with a sewing machine unless you're Gary Sproul with a specialized machine he has. you got to do it by hand. It's just a curved needle and a thimble because it's going to be a lot of material to push through. And that is how you uh, fix uh, and repair a uh, tab on a foil lame. Happy armoring.